Oh, oh, we're rolling. Oh, how's it going, guys? I'm Ricky. I'm a second year. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm a fourth year. And today we'll be going over in flare and out flare anominate dysfunctions. So we'll start off with the out flare. So let's say you've just given birth and you're. Uh, your body likes to abduct and externally rotate. So how are we gonna fix that? So if we like to abduct, we wanna use the adductors to help pull those in. So first we'll start off with the out flare. So as we always do with our innominate, we're gonna have Jamie reset. Very good. And then we're gonna do our ASIS compression test. Feel for the brick wall and it feels a little more restricted on the left side. So we're gonna focus on that left side only here. And now for the in-flare, out-flare, we're gonna do a slightly different technique where we ask the patient to point to her belly button. And what we're gonna do here, push, keep our thumbs on the ASISs and use our pointer fingers to that belly button spot. Right there, perfect. And you can put your hand down. And we look for the gap distance between the two. So in this case, compressed on the left side, and we see a bigger gap on the left side. So if it looks like, kind of like that, then we uh, will have a left out flare phenomenon. So uh, what we're gonna have her do is bring the leg up and cross it over. And this is placing her into adduction. Since she likes to abduct, we're placing her into the way that she doesn't like to go her restrictive barrier. So we're gonna stabilize her and um, I'm gonna tell her to activate her abductors and push out against me. Two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time, two, three, four, and relax. Final stretch, return to neutral. And we're gonna have her reset her pelvis again for an accurate check. Thank you. Compress. And can you please point to your belly button again? Thank you. And then it would be nice and even on both sides. So if this is our left side, this is our right side. It used to look like this, and now it looks more like this, nice and even. Okay. Now we're gonna do the inflare nominant. So let's say you're stressed out second year med student, not that I know from experience, but you're sitting at a desk all day long and your hips are basically turned in like this. You're stuck in adduction. So in this case, we're gonna use the adductors to help, or the, excuse me, the abductors to push in the opposite direction. So if I'm doing an inflare, or excuse me first, um, we're gonna have her reset and then do the compression test. Okay, and let's say for this case, she doesn't have it, but we're gonna simulate it. Left side is positive, and we're gonna have her point to her belly button. Thank you. Check the gap. This is the right side, this is the left. If this side's stuck in more, we would have an in flare, and we wanna uh, help bring it back out. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have her bring her knee up and out into a figure four position. And then we're gonna have her push up against me. Two, three, four, five, and relax. And push, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time, two, three, four, five, and relax. Final stretch, turn to neutral. I'm gonna have her reset her pelvis. Thank you. Reassess the ASISs again. And then ask her to point to her belly button once more. Thank you. And again, so if this is her right side, left side, we had the in flare, move back out to correct it. And that is the in flare and out flare and nominate dysfunctions.